Hi, I'm Simon Rushton and this is Taxi Chronicles podcast. On this podcast, we spontaneously interview unsuspecting passengers with their permission, allowing them to share their intimate life stories and concerns. As our slogan states, real riders, real stories. Some riders prefer to be anonymous, while others ask me to tell their story later on. Either way, they are all genuine 5 to 10 minutes stories. So sit back and enjoy this episode. Hi, today we're talking to a, a lovely young lady and we're going to talk about her experience in working, sorry, the pressures of education and why someone may have dropped out and how young people, millennials, are deal with things today. So nice to have you here today. Thank you. So tell us about your experience in uni and why you dropped out and um, yeah. what the pressures were. Not uni, college. College, sorry. Um, well, the pressures were like, you, 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 from GCSE to A level is a very big jump. Like there's, you have no idea, like you have, you're not prepared for it. You think, yeah, I'm gonna go into college, everything's gonna be all right. I'm gonna continue onwards from what we left off in secondary school, but that is not the case at all. Um, when I went there, I was doing psychology, biology and chemistry. So um, when I tried to do that, oh, ho- a whole load of pressure, just loads of information, plus I had a lot of outside distractions on top of that, which led me not to really wanting to take it serious enough. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd just rather focus on that rather than my education. But Mm -hmm. now that it's the future, I do look back and I regret that. Mm. I wish I did try and study a little bit more. Um, Just focus more. (laughs) What were those social pressures that you were going through? Because there's other people who may be going through the same thing and this would be good for them to Um, consider their actions. Well, specifically for girls, I think when you go to college, you're just thinking, yeah, I'm gonna dress up and all the boys are gonna see me and whatnot. But like, cause you're, you have more freedom to like show who you are in college. So like, I think there's that pressure of being like the best dressed or being the most coolest or the most popular. And honestly, like that, that should not be a priority for anyone. Like education should be a priority. Like that, will all come after you get gotten your qualifications. Like once you got your qualifications you can have your fun. Not to say that uh on the weekend or something you can't go out. But make sure you do everything you need to do first mm-hmm. with college and then do it. Cause in my mind I think I just put it in my head that I've got so much work to do that I won't have any free time to myself. Mm-hmm. And that just put me off doing it at all. But it's like I think that's just the real world. Like if, when you're going to work, you have so much to do. You got you have deadlines to meet, and you can't just put it to one side just because you can't be asked. You got to do it because that's the only way you'll get paid. But in the college sense, it's like you got to do your work or you won't get a pass. You won't get your qualification, mm-hmm. and that's like been a really big thing for me because now when applying for jobs and stuff. I don't have A-levels to show, I've only got GCSEs. Mm -hmm. And it makes it harder for me to to, to get certain jobs with certain pay and to live the life I want to live, like, just because I don't have the qualifications, which is really sad, but... So going back into the social pressures more, Yeah. what was, um, you said obviously you wanted to look nice and all those kind of things. Were you working? Were you able to afford to look nice? Um, yeah, I was working at the time I was working in McDonald's, so they'd pay us like every two weeks. So I was able to, I was able to um, keep myself looking good. But like when that's your, when that's the only thing on your mind, like college is a fashion show or something, you're not really thinking, oh, I'm going to college to learn. I'm going to college to mm-hmm. look nice for, for everyone to give me compliments and stuff and. That's not what it should be at all. So was it just a case of looking nice or was it like you're trying to impress somebody, like you're a, a guy you liked or...? Yeah, like, it's just, in, it's just 
to fit in more with like popular people like you see the popular group and you're like oh okay if that's what they're doing then i should try and do this try and get into that crowd mm-hmm. but it's not worth it at all it's really not are you the oldest sibling no i'm the youngest okay youngest of how many um i've got a brother and sister okay did they go to college and uni um my brother went to college and uni but my sister dropped out of uni okay yeah your brother the older one um no my sister's the oldest okay yeah mm. so you didn't follow his trends you didn't think look at him and think no because he, he, with his degree he couldn't do anything he was struggling hard after he got his degree he did business he, yeah but that's business not specific to anything this is why i always uh, I, I, some people say that it's not wise to do a degree that's not specialism yeah so if you're going to be a doctor then you do a degree about doctors if you're going to be a lawyer if you're doing something that well business is a bit open-ended then yeah well i guess he didn't think about that and he's not doing anything that with his degree right now so and he showed me from early that he that he's struggling to use his degree so so did he did he discourage you in any way I, yeah like he was like if, if you're gonna go to you really need to think about how you're gonna use your degree because you don't want to go there and then you feel like you've wasted time mm-hmm. I think it's more of a case um, of the indentured servitude from the student loan yes oh because yeah if it's nine grand a year that's 27 grand and it's like some people would say okay you're gonna get a piece of paper saying you've got a BSc or B yeah. you know but 27 grand really is that when you could start your own business for 27 grand yeah you get a mortgage for it, grand exactly yeah. work in McDonald's afterwards and pay the mortgage yeah like yeah. and the money definitely puts off a lot mm. of people that definitely put me off okay. like, and then you look at other con- countries like I think Germany they've gotten rid of tuition like you, it's free to go to uni there I think like, yeah but it should be though Germany's yeah. prop- a properly so- socialist society yeah. I agree with that why pay taxes if your healthcare is not free and your education is not free yeah education benefits the economy and yeah so, definitely yeah and stuff. So it's been interesting speaking to you. Thank you. And hearing your point of view. Thank you. I'm sure you should draw many listeners. Apart from that, have a good day. We hope you liked that episode. Keeping in mind, we never know who we're going to interview. We post twice a day, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. GMT. Have you ever considered the future economies to invest in? Why not listen to our sister podcast, Africa Investor Stories? Considering Africa has the fastest growing economies and population on Earth and has done for many years, it holds 30% of the world's known natural resources. We publish twice a week, Tuesday with a guest investor and Fridays talking about investment, politics and history providing a clear understanding for any potential investor.